Enochian.org back again. Hi. I had a viewer request for a new type of video. They requested how to speak with the dead. Basically, it is just like speaking with the living. Most people think it's this big deal. Well, in a way it is, but they think that it's different than speaking with just you or me. But it's sort of just you or me after we've passed from here. You're just speaking with a person. There, you have to have the same precautions as speaking with a person. You don't want to just speak with any random stranger necessarily. You can say hello to people walking down the street. You say hello to people sometimes, a quick hello and move on. Sometimes you get conversations, but sometimes they start telling you their life story. And you try to walk away and they keep telling you their life story. Well, it's the same with the dead, really. And then sometimes they'll try to rob you. Same with the dead. Sometimes they'll try to flirt with you. Same with the dead. Fortunately, not very often, which is good. Most of them are respectful. The same with the living, actually. And then um, some of them will become your best friends. Be cautious with that. Because there are people out there you can't necessarily trust right away. So you want to take time to learn to trust them. Same with the living. Now you're probably wondering, okay, how do we speak with the dead? Well, most of the techniques I can't really say. I'm sure there's books on it by now. But basically, you, most people that want to speak with the dead have had experiences already, have some around, have seen them. So that would be an easy, good place to start. However, you want to start with the cleansing bath before that stuff. You want to cleanse yourself in the area before speaking with any. And you want to keep the conversation short at first until you know you can trust them and know that you can do it. It tends to be a little more harmful to people than working with deities or daemons. Just because, you know, they're past and they don't have a continual energy source as with deities and daemons. So they can be a little more difficult to work with. So be cautious of that and make sure you're up for it. Make sure you're prepared. And... You know, blessings before you start are good for yourself by a trusted deity or trusted teacher, trusted person, in-person teacher, you know, stuff like that. And then you can start up a conversation as you would with the living. You know, the standard rules apply. Be respectful. Find out their name, write down their name, which you can check on after. There's many historical records. Findagrave.com is amazing. And the history and ancestry.com or whatever, they have good records. So you can check up anything that they tell you, you can confirm after. And if what they tell you doesn't line up with what actually happened historically, you can cut the conversation short next time or bring it up to them and say, okay, what's up? And to see if they're, you know, trying to come off as somebody a little more important than they really are, just like the living. Have you ever met a living person that tells you, oh, I know the CEO of, of IBM and, and Microsoft. Oh, I've done this. I've done that. I own five companies. I'm sure you've run into that sort of person. Well, same with the dead. But for some odd reason, people tend to believe the dead more than the living. What is up with that? Also, people tend to think that the dead are all elevated and all enlightened. Not necessarily just because they died doesn't mean they progressed spiritually. They could have actually gone backwards spiritually. They could have progressed spiritually if they were already on a spiritual path and, and good at it, but in general, not so much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I left some stuff out for obvious reasons, but there are books on it these days. Check them out. Just be careful who you read and take it slowly, step by step. A few minutes for your first session sort of thing. Maybe a trusted one that feels friendly. Oh, and I nearly forgot the most important point. If there is a um, spirit around, a dead person around, and you get the bad impression or bad vibes from it, then don't work with that one. Work with the ones that you get good impressions of. This is the same with all types of spirits. And start with that and stick with that. Now... 
for people that want to do some nasty work, you might want to move into other types of spirits. That is not for beginners. That is also not for YouTube. Just saying. Anyway, enjoy the work and let me know how it went. Comment and tell me how it went. And also, um, suggestions for the next videos would be amazing. Give me some ideas, guys. I might take the best ones or the ones from Patreon. Either way. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff in those links down there. And see you soon.